is the purpose of going to Syria? What are you trying to achieve? Who are your targets here? Who are your allies? What is your theory about the region? I would have thought the best place to do that is in a university or in a place like Berlin. China and India and Russia uh, do not really want to use the world system for anything positive. They, want, they don't, certainly don't want it to interfere in their affairs. What drives human performance? And in order to do that, I think we have to deal with a very uh, seductive and pervasive idea in Western culture that high levels of performance are driven predominantly by natural talent. If we look across modern economies today, the majority of new jobs are created by these so-called young, high-growth firms. How do we live with a global economy is going to be, I'm sure, the big issue for the next 75 years. You're faced by a group of people, all of whom have a very strong sense of their legitimate claim to the public good that the organisation should be pursuing. John de Balliol. John de Balliol put, he wanted, he was a great, he put wine in those undergraduates, those forgotten undergraduates, he put food in them. He made their studies possible and he thereby fueled the first ignition of that revolution that was to lift our species from the Monty Python-esque embarrassments of the Middle Ages to the elegance and the beauty and the general scintillation of the gathering we have tonight. First of all, I'd like to apologize to all those of you who've waited 750 years for this dinner, uh, only to discover that you came on the wrong night. <laughs> and I hope that Balliol will always, at its best, stand up for reason particularly important today. Most economists have noted is that China is rapidly becoming the world's largest economy. But of course, being the world's largest economy does not mean being the world's superpower. I'd like to just um, tell you a little about my thoughts about how physics may change the world. Physics, or more precisely the ideas from physics, may change the world over the next 75 years or so. We as Britain, instead of getting involved in the game of trying to guess, should instead focus on developing our capacities. I, I was elected to do quite a difficult job and to do that you have to be quite strong sometimes yes, and exactly. just keep going with what yeah. you think is the, the right thing to do. What do you see is going to happen to UK universities over the next 10, 10 15 years? I, I think our universities are one of the glories of the UK economy. And it represents, as I understand it, the story that the heart of John Balliol lies in Sweetheart Abbey. That is correct. Although I wasn't a very good student, I loved Balliol. Um, Balliol had a life-affirming uh, change for me. The 
750 years. It's quite a long while. Worth celebrating? I think so. Let's give ourselves a round of applause.